On today's menu, an easy and delicious recipe that's one mean dish. Yudon lo mein. Lei Ho Ma, I'm Will Young. Welcome to my channel where I help you cook with confidence. Now, if you love noodles as much as I do, be sure to check out my vegan ramen cookbook in the link above or a link in the description box below. This udon recipe is so delicious and it's incredibly easy to make. These are incredibly delicious soybean sticks or also called bean curd sticks. Just have to rehydrate them in water. Bring a pot of water and the soybean sticks to a boil. Remove the woody ends of asparagus. You don't really eat these parts, but you can definitely toss this into your next veggie stock. Further trim the asparagus into bite-sized pieces. When the water comes to a boil, let the soybean sticks boil for another 5 minutes, giving it ample time to rehydrate. Now while we wait, we can make that incredibly easy but delicious sauce. 2 tablespoons soy sauce. 1 tablespoon rice vinegar. 1 and a half tablespoons homemade chili oil. Two tablespoons maple syrup. Stir. One bundle yudon noodles. A handful of shimeji mushrooms. Cook the noodles for half the time of the package instructions. In this case, four minutes. Saute pan. Medium high heat. Olive oil. Reserve one cup worth of cooking water and strain out the rest. Asparagus into the saute pan. Saute for 3 to 5 minutes. Half cup crumbled extra from tofu. Saute for a minute and add the noodles. Deglaze the pan with the cooking water. When most of the cooking water has been absorbed, add in your sauce. Cooking it this way just means all that flavor gets absorbed into the noodles and nothing gets stuck on the bottom of the pan. Cook for 5-8 to eight minutes or until most of the sauce has been absorbed. Plate. That seriously is incredible. Freshly chopped green onion. You can now make this delicious noodle dish with absolute confidence. Even as a child actually, I really like these bean curd sticks. They just absorb so much flavor. The thing I love about making the yudon this way, half cooking the noodles and then finish cooking it in the saute pan is because it still has a lot of the starch and then that starchiness actually thickens up the sauce and the noodles still have a lot of room to absorb a lot of that liquid instead of just cooking completely in the water. It's 
half cooking the water and half cooking in the actual sauce. So the sauce actually gets literally absorbed into those noodles. Mm. Mm. Incredibly flavorful. This is seriously just too easy not to make. Absolutely amazing. Definitely remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you won't miss a single episode.